Hello everyone and welcome back to another Train to Mod 3 Midland Mainline video. We're back on and we're going to be taking a look at an EMR regional livery, so sort of a more modern touch to the route as it used to be East Midlands Trains and then a couple of years ago they then sort of went to, well, East Midlands Railway, so EMR. Uh, so we're in the EMR regional livery in the 158, so uh, now we wait. Uh, but yeah, this is a livery by Jason PFC. Uh, who's done quite a few liveries on the uh, on the Creators Club? Well, the one thing I have to ask: where's the class number? I'll be there, wouldn't it? I think the uh, number of the of the train, unless they're slightly different on EMR's trains. Maybe they're on the side somewhere. Where's the one on the back? Let's have a look. No, I'm not sure. Uh, we're going to be calling at East Midlands Parkway and then Loughborough. This is a service towards Norwich. But there's a sort of a weird... It goes a weird way. It sort of goes the wrong way to then go the right way. Ready? Let's go. Brakes off. Notch four. I think, I think it's 15 out of here though, so we can't go very quick. And let's go. Yeah, so a slightly more modern touch to the uh, to the route. There's also a bit of weathering on it as well. A little sort of splats of something on the side there. I don't know if that's part of the livery or part of just the sort of model. Oh, you see that in the light there. So see all the little splats on it. But yeah, these are, I believe what these trains are in now. Um, I think I think they are in EMR livery or I think they've been changed over at least some of them. Let's go on Google Google Images, that will uh, that 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 will help. Oh, I think some of them are in this livery now. Uh, let's see class one five eight EMR. Yeah no they are some of them are in uh, in the uh, in that livery. I don't know how many there's a lot of still I think in the EM EMT. Well EMT but they have East Midlands Railway sort of a sticker on the side. Out we go, mate. That's quite nice on the uh, 158, so. Looks clean. It's a bit like the uh, similar, I suppose, to sort of the Northern livery in a way. Sort of the sort of full white on it with the sort of blue at the front of the, I think the Northern one is. Yeah, it looks nice. That'll be another livery we try out at some point. Let's speed that up a little bit. There we go. So yeah, heading down to Loughborough. So we've got East Midlands Parkway is our only intermediate stop. So it should be around sort of 20 minutes or so. I think it said about 21 minutes actually. As we head down this way. But hopefully everyone has been enjoying the flurry of Midland Mainline content. I suppose it's probably one of the more sort of towards the end now, sort of that streak of Midland Mainline videos, so we do need to now go back to just, back to, back to, back to normal. Um, but yeah, I thought we'd do uh, another livery check out. I mean, there's still plenty of things we can do, actually. HST-wise, maybe find some scenarios on the Creators Club, a GWR 158 on West Cornwall Local, want to do that, just finding a scenario which goes from, uh, well, down to St. Ives on there. Yeah, let's get that up. Nice. So this will be going out on Monday. See, so the route's been out almost a week now. Uh, but how's everyone finding? If you're watching this, if, yeah, if you're watching this video in a few months' time or a few years' time, how are you finding this route? Maybe there's an extension for it in a few years' time. Who knows? So we're passing through Beeston and Attenborough. We should be coming up fairly shortly, and they're quite close to one another as well. And they'll be next. <clears throat> I still think my favourite livery video 
has still got to be the Intercity 125 for the free. I mean, you can't beat the Intercity 125 executive. It's so nice looking. Uh, I might even do another BR one at some point on the HST. But I still think that's probably my favourite one. That's just sort of just how iconic it is. But that is the wonders of the Creators Club. People can, you know, you can make any livery or livery designer as long as it's appropriate. And, and then upload it for, well, the world of Train Sim World or the world of the community to see. Um, which is, is fantastic. I think Creators Club's been out over a year now or so. Which has been great. There's thousands of uh, things on there. It's, I'm actually quite surprised how popular Creators Club is. Um, I mean, there's like a <laughs> hundred uploads a day or so on it. It's mad. Sort of the scale of it. Well, maybe not a hundred uploads, but there's, you know, a fair bit. I've got a double yellow. That might just go. That might. Yeah, there we go. It's done that. Signalling is slightly peculiar on this route. Let's get a flyby shot. Let's go ahead and watch the train whizzing by. There we go. There it goes. As we then pass through Attenborough very shortly. It doesn't take too long. Then after this, it's just a short hop down to EMP, or EMD as the station code is. And it was EMP. So I think it's 80, and it comes down to 70 at the uh, junction coming up. And I think even actually more. Spudge, what are you doing? She wants to go behind the chair, but she's causing a whole scene. There we go. Yes, yeah, so we'll start popping that down fairly soon. Oh, there's some sort of lake over there. Oh, I think they must be the Attenborough Lakes I keep hearing about. Oh, there they are. <laughs> Literally just there. I didn't ever notice that. Is that a narrow boat there? On there. Oh, no. There's the lake. Don't really sort of notice these things, I suppose, or haven't yet, even though I've been playing it for about a week or so. I'll just start popping it down to 70. As we are soon to be coming up to uh, sort of the junction where the line split off the triangle. Double yellow. Not sure if this was actually supposed to be a flashing yellow. I oh, know because there's some sort of uh, almost like approach control on the junction coming up. So I think it's just after the tunnel you come across and you get a red just before. And you can see the power station over there, a bit of sort of blobby at the moment. Which hopefully they can, I mean I know it's a huge asset, but hopefully they can um, change that. It's, like, it's supposed to be like the one on um, Reza Dresden, uh, the big sort of smokestack. That looks fine from a distance. That's just after the um, bridge, the uh, red light. It should hopefully change. Obviously, don't assume it's going to change, but it should change. That's quite cool. The little trail there in the middle, which uh, 
Goes down there. Nice. We go over the bridge. Like that a bit more. There you go, and that changes. Get that up. And let's throw it into East Midlands Parkway. I think it's uh, 15 miles an hour, I think, the crossover here. Well, it is on the um, on the down line. Not sure about when we're going this way. I'd imagine probably the same. I think. Yeah, quite a long stretch of the journey done already. Is it 15 or 25? I know it's 15 on, yeah, on, when you're coming the other way. I'll pop back down anyway. Nah, it's probably 15, isn't it? It's got to be 15. Yeah, 15. Down even more. Across we go. So I like here for East Midlands Airport. Is it even like a big major airport? Or is it just sort of a small, almost, well not a relevant, but yeah, not a busy, busy airport. And this is East Midlands Parkway. And yes, we are doing it hardless. Why not? Let's just stop when you're in the platform, really, so that should be alright. Here we are. Welcome to EMP. There's the big uh, smokestack behind us of the uh, power station looming above. Let's get a uh, little screenshot. There we go. So we're on uh, here on time. 22 power. Well, that's actually, I suppose, when we're supposed to leave. And it will be. Uh, Lufbrunex, which is in apparently nine minutes time. So that'll be next. Come on, let's get going. We'll watch it leaving as well. No, not that one. Let's watch it coming out. We got locked doors. Skinny doors on this train. Up to notch four. That's probably notch four we're in. Yeah, there's no fumes at the moment though, which is a bit sort of odd. And now it goes. Yeah, I'd love to have the 158 in the game though. The sort of the possibility is they literally run everywhere. <laughs> well, everywhere out of the south. Well, they do run in the southeast. Um, if you include Southwestern Railway. Although well, I think they might be 159s. Um, they're pretty much the same, I think. And Portsmouth. Yeah, Portsmouth, they run there as well. Also, it's probably more going southwest, that is. Onwards we go to the next uh, and final station stop. And this apparently then goes, turns off near Syston, I think, and then goes to somewhere. Is it Mar Mel? Oh, I can't 
Google Maps. Google Maps, rescue me. <laughs> it's only going to M. Malbo, something like that. Uh, then, yeah, then it goes via Melton Mowbray. Some town, uh, yeah, in Leicestershire. Yeah, it, go, it goes off that way to, to there. Wow, it seems to be only be served by cross country. Wow, that's uh, weird. Well, not weird, but just cross country. Oh, and EMR. The EMR doesn't. Oh, there you go. EMR to Norwich in the morning. There we go. And St Pancras International as well, apparently. So we'll have a look at the timetable there. Cool. Let's continue on. Lovely. Coast that. I think it's 75 this bit. It'll come quite a bit down coming into uh, Loughborough, which isn't too far ahead. Should go fairly, qu uh, fairly quick. Footbridge, it must be good train spotting locations for anyone uh, who's on the Midland Main Line. These two footbridges here. I, mean, I doubt they are like that in real life. I mean, they might be like that similar, but they probably have like, the sort of a uh, cage, don't they? Probably like, the netting. to it fairly soon now. So I see a bit more life appearing. So the fields look really blobbish. I don't know. Um, yeah, just sort of looking out to the left there, it just looks sort of... Well, hmm. Just not... I, mean, I suppose it's probably the sunlight on... Yeah, I suppose so, but they just look... Meh. Yeah, though. A little bit of horn. And here we go. And I've also noticed the uh, doors released when lit light seems to be on when it, they're not released. So, yeah, not sure. Unless that's just the, the glare on it. But anyway, almost there, almost at Loughborough. Now, fairly soon after this one, I think you get that service we did uh, on another video, which is Loughborough down to Leicester. Come on, just just get the get us there. Oh, it's 
what's that speed? Mm, 50. No, that's fine. We're pretty much doing that anyway. Uh, okay, that looks like we're going to be going... Not onto the far... No, I can't be going on... Oh, maybe we are going on the fast lines. Oh, no. No, because I think... No, I don't know, actually. No, I don't think we are. Or are we? <laughs> no, I don't, don't think we are, no. No, because yeah, there's only one platform for this bit, isn't there, uh, Loughborough? Looking under there, you can see the uh, the horn there. Yeah, here we are, journey's end. That did feel like quite a long time. Even though it was only 20 minutes, it felt like that was like 50 minutes or so. HST farm boss. Oh no, it's the rail tour service going at about 110 odd miles an hour. Just looks silly going at that speed. I mean, it, looks, it probably is going about that. It's probably going top line speed. Uh, but yeah, that is going to be everyone uh, for today's uh, Train Sim World video. Hopefully, everyone has enjoyed it. Links can be found in the usual places Discord, PayPal, merch store. Apart from that, thanks all for coming in, and I hope to see you in the next one. See you all. Take care. Bye, guys.